Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Maria Muzichuk and Koneru Hampi. This is the game from FIDE, Women's World Chess Championship, that was played in Sochi in 2015. Maria Muzichuk had white pieces, and she started with e4. Koneru Hampi played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, going for the scotch game. e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop to c5, attacking the knight, defending, queen to f6, pressure is on the knight on d4, c3, knight from g to e7, white to move, bishop, to c4 is the most played move in this position. Maria Muzichuk played g3 in order to develop her light square bishop to g2. d5, bishop to g2, d takes on e4, and both players castle the king's side. White to move. Not bishop takes on e4. Knight to d2. Maria wants to recapture with the knight. Black to move. Bishop to b6. Perhaps bishop takes knight would be better. But Konir Hampi wanted to keep the bishop here. And we have bishop to b6. Now knight takes on e4 is possible. Maria is not in a high. She played rook to e1. Knight takes on d4. And now knight takes on e4, attacking the queen. Queen to f5. Bishop takes on d4. Knight to c6, attacking the bishop. Bishop takes bishop. A takes on b6, capturing towards the center and opening the file for the rook. f4. Why f4? In order to support knight to g5. Bishop to e6, white pawn on a2 is under attack, b3, h6 preventing knight to g5, h3, rook to a3, queen to d2, queen to a5. There is a good chance that black will win the pawn on a2. Rook to e2 doesn't work. If rook to e2, then bishop takes on b3, and what now? If pawn takes, rook takes, winning for black. So, Maria Muzichuk played b4, attacking the queen. Queen to a4. Black has a strong pressure on the queen side. What is the solution for white? What would you do? The solution is to attack on the other side, on the king's side. So we have g4 in order to play g5. Rook to d8, attacking the queen. Queen to f2. Rook takes on a2. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes on a2. Queen takes on a2 is a better move. We have bishop takes on a2. g5 immediately comes to mind. Maria Mosichuk played b5 first. Knight to a7 and now g5. h takes on g5. Knight takes on g5. Black to move. This is the most critical position of the game. With black to move. Yes, black. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Kunero Hampi played f6. The best move is rook to d1. In the game we have f6. Attacking the knight. What is the best way for the knight? Please pause the video 
and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Are you ready to see this move? No, there. Yes, there. What a fantastic move. Black to move. Conero Hampi played rook to f8. If rook takes queen, check mate. Rook to f8. Bishop to d5, check. Bishop takes. Bishop. Queen takes bishop check, king to h8. White played a move and black resigned. What is the move? Queen to f7. Maria Muzichuk reminds me of Paul Morphy. Play with black pieces, Conero Hampi resigned. One line goes like this. Pawn takes knight. Then the queen takes rook check. King to h7, queen to f5 check, g6, rook to e7, king to g8. Queen takes on g6 check, king to h8, queen to g7. Check mate. What else? If rook takes queen, then there is a problem on the back rank. Check and after rook to f8, rook takes rook. Check mate, what a game. And let's go back to move 26. Did you find this absolutely fantastic move? Queen to d2. If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.